<laughs> okay, can you guys hear me all right? Yes, sir. All right, good. Well, this is kind of a Q&A. So let me look at the, uh, if anybody posted any questions in the discussion. Uh, questions and answers. No, nobody put anything. Okay, so do you have guys have uh, questions? What exactly is the GERP project? Ah, I guess let's get doing with that. Um, what groups are you guys in? I'm in group one. Okay, I think group one's ready to go. Let me share my screen. Hold on, the cat's trying to get in. All right, so we'll be fine until he wants to go back out. Okay, so briefly. Uh, so this is the Louisiana Anthology. It's a collection of texts about Louisiana. Uh, we are up to 8 million words now. It's been a project going on since uh, 2012. Let's see how many authors we have. 2000, uh, 218. So... Uh, what I do with the groups is uh, I'll divide a class up into groups, and each group picks one of these works to mostly proofread, um, format if it needs to be. Uh, we put it in the, let's see what this looked like, where we got it. So when we got this uh, Naughty Marietta, a comic opera, it looked like this. Um, which is fine, but it's hard to read online. And also they're really hard to find uh, because they're you know, tucked away at various spots over the internet. Uh, so we get these uh, uh, stories, plays, histories, uh, and put them into our format. Oh, and if need be, you can put in footnotes, some, uh, some, uh, some things need footnotes, most things don't. Okay, so Allison, are you in group one? Yes, sir. All right, let's talk about what you're going to do specifically. Uh, um, Yeah, so y'all chose The Mosquitoes by Faulkner. The uh, oh, one uh, that it started with means we've been working on it a while. Ah, here we go. Um, so you pick out one of these to work on as a group, um, or actually you pick three and then I give you your top choice that's still available. Um, and then uh, you, you, you know, you decided you wanted to do uh, the mosquitoes by Faulkner. Uh, here are the actually you take away page breaks. Um, here are the um, things you're supposed to do as a group as you edit. Does that make sense? So I say start proofreading. It stopped here. It's on page. Oh my gosh, my computer is really slow today. Um, page 234 of the PDF, and there's original PDF here. Open it up. What did we say, 234? Um, 
And usually they'll put your note, says to change the quotes and uh, the apostrophes to curly quotes, remove unnecessary hyphens, capitalize the chapter names, remove page numbers. So those are the things you'll be doing. Let's go down to stop here. There we go. So that's how far they got to two o'clock, whatever that is. Let's try. Did they get further? No, that's the stop here. Oh, shut up for a while. Let's see if we can find that over here. Hmm, okay. So they got their number off. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, hit breakfast, nine o'clock. What o'clock are we going for? Two o'clock? Gosh. Twelve o'clock. We may be getting close. Two o'clock. Good. Talk some, talk some, good. So we are on actually page 257 of the PDF. Um, rather than what they put here. And basically what you do is uh, read along. Now, I think we do something to the o'clock. So what do we do? Mm, doesn't look like anything. Okay, so just leave that. Um, take out the stopped here and start proofreading. I don't think there's a whole lot of mistakes in here, but just kind of scan it. Um, right. Oh, here's one. You can take out that extra space. Okay, so let's get you set up. Can, who was in the group? Uh, Allison, can you share your screen with us? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, I have to oh, set it up. Yes, yeah, so it's to see. Uh, okay, try it now. And this works for everybody. Oh, did I get the recording going? Yes. All right, so have you set up Dropbox yet? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, good. Well, let's go to your Dropbox. Have you installed it on your computer? No, sir. I just. All right, uh, open up a new tab in your browser. Um, open up a new tab. Uh, where's the vacation? See that little plus button? There. All right. Go uh, type in install Dropbox. Oh, did you, uh, did you set up an account with Dropbox? I mean, yes, I, I okay, just good. did. And did you, um, share the folders I shared with you? Yes, I looked at those. Okay, good, good, good. Well, we're on our way. Uh, click on go to download. I'm going to post this so the other students will have a model. Although I think I've done it before, but this is new this quarter. And there's always the chance to change the interface a little bit.
Maybe we have to click on something and tell it yes. Click on that highlighted thing down below. To the left. To the left there. Uh, I guess so. I don't know. Sometimes, it says it's uh, installing. It says I don't know if y'all see the same thing. Can you minimize your browser? Let's see what's going on on your desktop. Okay. It looks like it's doing. Louisiana. Louisiana. Now, if the rest of you have not installed Dropbox, you can be doing that right now. So uh, this isn't just watch, it's also watch and do what we're doing. All right, let's leave that to do its thing. Is there anything else? Let me know when you when it actually gets installed. Okay. Uh, and we'll come back and keep going, but we can't do any more right now till it gets installed. Um, so uh, the rest of you, I think most of your groups have not picked out a work to work on yet. So y'all need to get together and do that. Um, and then I'll be able to set up the folders and files to share with you and we'll be able to get going on that. All right, other questions? Is everything due by the next class period? So like the thesis stuff that's for today, is that due Thursday or we need to do it today? Um, let's see what's up. So it's good to take a look at the syllabus. So I set up the syllabus like a Tuesday, Thursday class to help you pace yourself. But obviously, since we don't have meetings, it's kind of up to you. As to when exactly get this stuff done. But ideally, uh, this would have been what you looked at and uh, if there was any homework did for the first, uh, the uh, registration week. Then is this week one? So if this were a Tuesday, Thursday class, then you would be doing this for today. And you would be doing this for Thursday. Does that make sense? So there are the thesis exercises. Do I have a lecture? Oh, here we go. Did we go over the thesis exercises? All right, so uh, anyway, uh, try to work this stuff earlier in the week and then this stuff later in the week, uh, each week. Okay, any more questions? Dropbox is up now. Ah, oh, good, can you reshare? Yeah. It says I can't until you stop. Oh, sure. sorry. You're good. All right. Zoom is a, a constant struggle to figure out. Mm. Okay, good. This is what you should. Right, click into 303 texts. 303. Okay, this stuff should be downloading. Go up to view. 
click on list. All right, go up to view again. Click on uh, the check the box over to the right that says file name extensions. Okay, now you can see what kind of files you're dealing with. So uh, go ahead and open up the PDF. This is how you proofread. Now, uh, what page number had we gone to? Um, I think it, it was, I think it was 257. Oh, try that. It's supposed to be two o'clock. Yes, perfect. All right, so make that half of your desktop instead of all of it. Because you want to put them side by side. All right, now open a new uh, browser window over on the right side of your screen and we'll put your um, proofreading there. Yep, pull just the tab, there you go, good. All right, now open up the uh, HTML file in that. Mm -hmm. the, which one is it? Where is it? Uh, go back to your folder. I can't see it because of the way my screen is cutting. Okay, the HTML, Faulkner hyphen hyphen mosquitoes.html. Open that in your browser. Edge is fine, although I find them annoying. All right, do a <laughs> control F and go to stop here. Go to the next one. Okay. Now, uh, see, look at the boat. I think there's an extra space there. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, maybe go down the page a bit. Okay, I thought I saw an extra space. Let's right. just imagine that there's an extra space at look at the boat, comma, quote mark. Oh, I see one. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Tele, Tele Pharaoh, and then the question mark at the bottom of the paragraph, that doesn't look good. All right, so here's how you actually make changes. Go back into your folder. Go to a right click on the HTML file. Open with. Let's see what you got. Choose another app down at the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't go on. Just go through that again. You'll be fine. All right, more apps. I go down to the bottom. Uh, where is WordPad? Oh, there it is at the bottom. Yeah, do that. Oh, uh, here we go. All right, so do a control F for the stop here in that one. Go to the next one. Okay, so that's where we are. Uh, now let's scroll down a bit to the question mark. Keep going. Oh, he has he gone away. Take up that extra space. There was an extra space. I Thank just you. thought I made a mistake. Yeah. All right, and see the uh, at the next paragraph, uh, Talia Ferro, M dash space question mark. Mm -hmm. Okay, that pushes the question mark to the next line, and we don't want that to be separated. So take out the spaces. I'm gonna put you in a, uh, not, that, not that space, not that side of it. Yeah, right there. All right, this is a code for a hard space. It keeps text together in spite of the fact that it's, um, you know, there's space between it. So uh, type an ampersand. 
That's a shift seven. Uh, M, no, no, I'm sorry, delete that. Uh, NB, SP, semicolon. That's a uh, code talk for non breaking space. All right, save that and let's reload and see what you've done. All right, reload that. Oh, I gave you the wrong code. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that should be an NB. Um, yeah, change the M to an N. And take out the M before the uh, ampersand. There we go. Ampersand NB SP semicolon. All right, let's try that. Okay, now it's together. I don't know, I think I may want it with the word too. So let's go back. I thought that might be enough, but looking at it, it doesn't look like it. Let's go back to the editor. Okay. Um, where is the question? Oh, there it is. Uh, so take out the spaces after Taliaferro. Taliaferro. Okay, put another non-breaking space there, like uh, the one you just did. Uh, percent in the SP, semicolon, great. Okay, let's try it. All right, reload. Yeah, so we fixed that. All right, or right, you fixed it, I just talked at you. <laughs> um, so next paragraph looks good. So I rushed forward, that paragraph looks good. Uh, so yeah, let's start down the page some. We are off at last. That should go up to the top. Right there, we just went past it where, uh, go up to tad, there. Okay, now over on the right, roll that up to where we are off at last is up at the top also. There. <sighs> Okay, well, that all looks good. So just scroll on down. Uh, Telly Ferro took his cue and scroll down on the other side and we'll scan it. Just kind of scan for mistakes. There we go. Um, it ignored her. Let's see what that. Uh, if you were, if you will be so kind, where is that? Mm -hmm. We kind of lost our spot. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. If you'll be so kind. Okay, so that semicolon I thought might, I mean that colon, I thought might should be a semicolon and normally it would be, but Faulkner used a colon. So we just leave it alone. Uh, so if he makes a mistake, leave it um, rather than correcting it. Uh, okay, so uh, you kind of see what you're doing? Yes, sir. Okay, let me show you the special characters if you come across any. Go back to your folder. Okay, go up a level. You see the little up button beside Brianna Allison? It's to the left. There you go. Right. Open special characters. All right, so occasionally you'll come across a special character. Uh, those curly quotes at the bottom, um, I like to replace straight quotes with curly quotes. It looks like another group already did. But if they miss something, you might have to put it in as you do your proofreading. So, um, there are four kinds of curly quotes, whereas there are only two kinds of straight quotes, double and single.
But in curly quotes, there's a left single, a right single, a left double, and a right double. And that little code is what you type in to tell the browser which one to use. Like L-F-Q-O, you know, it's the first one you come to. Uh, that means left single. R-S means right single. L-D means left double. And R-D means right double. So that's the code, the way the code works. All right, any questions? And just kind of divide it up in within the group so everybody's doing a part. Like you might take a certain number of pages or you might each one do a different kind of thing. You know, how, how you work it out is up to you. And we go through and do the whole text, like all yeah, the text. Yeah, uh, I think this quarter we may be able to get to the end. If not, we'll just pass it along to the next quarter. This, these longer works are kind of like a relay race instead of a you know sprint because those notes to you came from last quarter's group, and then they had notes from a group before that, and a group before that, and so on. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, good. All right, anybody else got questions? Let's see if anything came in through the chat. Um, when you say do, that's kind of a, like I say, that the assignments are set up to kind of give you a, a way to pace yourself. The only thing I take up is graded assignments. Uh, so people are starting to work on their uh, recipes. Uh, one person's finished. Uh, but that's unusual. Usually it takes a few times to uh, get it right. Uh, the rest of them have, you know, kind of a hard date wired in uh, when they need to be done. Like, uh, well, let me, let me show you. It's easier to show than tell. Okay, so, ah. Here, and this is in red, uh, turn in the proposal which is uh, made up of the memo, the bibliography, and the audience profile sheet. And I give you examples of each That's the bibliography, I mean, crap. Uh, something's amiss, here we go. So that's your model for your proposal. Now, this is a formatting class, so be very, particular about the way you format stuff. Um, the bibliography, the easiest way to do a bibliography is easybib.com. Also Word has a uh, bibliography function. You can choose uh, the MLA function for it. And then the audience profile sheet. Just fill it out. And then you'll need to save it. And then you'll need to um, upload it. How did I do this before? Hold on a minute. I think my mind is... Uh, slowly coming to realize something. Yeah, okay, so uh, for turning this stuff in, um, I have found turn it in on Moodle to be endlessly frustrating. It's just almost impossible. So what we're going to do instead is I will set you up. Let me show you from last quarter. You'll have a Dropbox folder, not the same as your folder for, um, for your group project. This is your own personal Dropbox that you don't share with anybody. 
And then uh, within it, I don't think this will give anything away. Oops, yes, it will. Sorry. Let's try a, a yeah, model. Okay, here we go. So you'll put all of your proposal files in here. I found that um, grading the files together to be a problem in Moodle and also um, it doesn't allow you to upload some, you know, the audience profile sheet because it thinks it's too similar to all the other ones, which is the point. Uh, anyway, you'll put your bibliography, your proposal and your audience profile sheet in here. I'll grade it. Uh, and uh, the other thing that Moodle does put some kind of embargo on you being able to read the uh, feedback. And so the stuff that we need for the next part of the project, uh, it's hard for you to get. All right, so drop your proposal stuff in there. I'll set these up and share them with you. Any questions about that? What is this, uh, winter? Is there like a specific category for the topic that we choose or is it? Yeah, uh, very definitely. It needs to be something in your major. So what's your major? Oh, uh, it's kinesiology. Okay, so something in kinesiology that's worthy of a technical report that you would give to an audience and you want your audience to act on it. Uh, so it's not just a report giving everybody information. You have to address somebody in kinesiology about some issue in kinesiology. What does kinesiology do? Oh, it basically deals with exercising in the human body and all that. Okay, so um, you could write to, I guess, a gym or a better yet, a um, like a, is Planet Fitness one of those chains? Yeah. So the yes, CEO sir. of Planet Fitness would be a good audience if you wanted Planet Fitness to institute some kind of new thing or to stop something that they're doing like this. Uh, oh, what's the cool thing the kids are doing now? Um, Tybo. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing these days? Uh, no clue. <laughs> you go to a gym, you say, I wanna sign up for this class. What are the classes they have? They have cycling, that's a real big one. Okay, so the heartbreak of cycling, it's killing everybody's joints and you need to just stop it immediately. Or you don't have a cycling class and you need to add one. Uh, and then you're getting into stuff like, not only this does this good for people, but these are how much the cycles cost. This is how much they'll be used. This is how we'll make your money back, that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, any more questions? I have questions, but I have no idea how to ask it because I feel real slow right now. I feel like oh, I'm well, not everybody's in the same spot. There, uh, this is the <laughs> kind of class. There's no. I was actually uh, one thing I figured out early on in my student work was. Uh, if I've got a stupid question, everybody else has it too. They just are afraid to ask it. So I was the guy that they would poke in the back and say, Bruce, ask this question. And I would. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and ask. Um, so this folder you're wanting us to put this in, is this the Dropbox? That, is this the same as the Dropbox from? No, that's the, uh, it's a different one. Okay. So when we're turning the assignment, how do we get to here to turn it in? I am, if you see what I'm doing, actually setting that up now. Okay. Uh, I just remembered that I hate Moodle in 303. <laughs> I usually use it for all my other classes, but uh, for 303, it just sucks. The, <laughs> I've never been able to find a way around it uh, being terrible. 
Why is this doing this? So I'm going to set you guys up folders if I can get it to copy. Uh, so one of these will be your name and only you and I will be able to see it. So okay. don't put it into your group folder because then everybody sees it. Uh, that way only you and I, you know, we, you're the only one with the feedback. Oh, there it comes. It's just slow. How many people we got? 25? All right, any more questions? Do we turn in the recipes through the folder as well? or do Oh, we no, you do them on Blogger. Okay. And you just give me a note. Uh, in the forum, when they're ready to look at. Okay. Um, let's take a look at Blogger, since we're here. Um, So anyway, let's take a look at the way it looks facing outward. So I did this as an exercise in uh, the basics of technical writing. Like you take a, um, let's hope this works. Ah, here we go, lamb's head soup. So this is how it looked in the original. Back then they would just write a paragraph and um, it's got everything mixed in it, the ingredients, the directions. Um, so you can do it, but it's kind of hard because it's a paragraph. So you take that, you find the ingredients, you put them in a uh, dotted list. This is called bullets, a bulleted list and then directions with a heading. And this is a numbered list putting stuff on the right and the left, uh, links. And so it's a good, you know, we all understand recipes already. Uh, so a recipe makes a lot of sense to us. And this gives you a chance to see, well, how did it come to be that way? And then you can do it too. Now here's where you work on it. And they've just updated uh, the blogger interface and I've been uh, updating my screenshots, but this looks pretty good. Here's your, um, here's your code. And I like to check the HTML. The HTML is really clean and it's based on the model that I gave. Um, three, three, syllabus, how to, how to. And so I gave the model code down here. They can just copy that. Uh, let's do a new one. So I'm not updating somebody's work. So when I get ready to do a new post, I oh, click on new post, click on this, go into HTML view paste and there it all is and go back to the compose view and I put my ingredients in here my directions in here I corrected the link here to wherever it is going to and that's it and for one of them put a picture in. all right any questions And then I go back and I look at it. And the goal is everybody gets an A on this one to pull up the grades. And so rather than give you a bad grade, I will give you directions on what to do to fix it. And by A, I mean 92, because if I give out hundreds, I get too many A's in the class and then I get fussed at. So. <laughs> uh, or not fussed at, but they'll say, you have a lot more A's than anybody else. I said, well, I'm I'm just so much a better teacher, you know, obviously, but nobody's buying that. I have a question on the recipes. Yeah. 
Um, so mine's you put that um for the French language recipes, you would like the recipe in French and English. Yeah, like French <laughs> at the top and English at the bottom. Are you good at translating? Um, no, but I think Google is pretty good, so it's okay. <laughs> well, you can use Google, yeah, and then just use your best judgment uh if something looks off. Okay. That's how I do my French translations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, anything else? I got a class right after this, I got to get ready for. Um, could you go through the due date thing one more time? Is, so yeah, it's just really... through the syllabus. Um, yeah, so so basically that um at the end of that week is due. Like basically, right yeah. Usually I'll do it at the end of the week, um, and then I'll grade it over the weekend. Like the proposal, you turn that in at the end of the week. Actually, the end of uh, yeah, and I get it done sometime over Christmas break. Um. Oh, here's the uh, the rough due date for the um, recipes. But if you're making progress, I'm not going to count off because um, sometimes people get it right the first time out, and then sometimes something really goes wrong, and we're just back and forth and back and forth. So we keep going till we finish. But that's our goal. Um, and the sentence outline is due the week of January 11th. I may put that at the end of that week. I think we have time. And long report is due January 29th. The resume is due a week later. Uh, no, two weeks later. And then the group project's the last thing we take up. All right, any questions? Uh, here comes one through the chat. Uh, oh, good. Um, hmm. The best way to set up, because I'm not in Ruston that much. I'll try to pick up if you uh, physically mailed it, but I think it'll be easier and cheaper we do it over Moodle now. You've already mailed it, so uh, can't do it over Moodle now. Let's see, my courses. Three. I think I set this up last night, or maybe the day before. Oh uh, yeah, upload your plagiarism statements here, and so add new discussion. Put your note, uh, your name, and plagiarism statement and then choose a file to upload. Um, let's not do my timesheet. <laughs> um, and then they'll all be in one place organized. Uh, that'll be easier to keep up. So just take a picture of it, make sure you get the uh, fuzzy edges. That's what they're looking for. The fuzzy edge of quality, uh, uh, freshness. And also make sure you do a color photo. So, they can make sure the color is right. All right, any questions? If you've already mailed it physically, that's fine. I'll pick it up next time in town that the department is open. Okay, is that it? We'll try to have uh, some other of these when, well, we might need to with the different groups to get you going, because uh, uh, um, each group does something slightly different depending on what exactly you're working on. Um, you know, it, it's recognizably similar to what we were doing before, but it might be a little bit different. So I can walk you through that. Um, 
but as far as class meetups, we can have some more of these as we go along. Also, there's a Q&A in the Moodle forum. If it's a generic question and not something specific for you, put your questions there and that way everybody will be able to see the answer because everybody has the same questions basically. You know, if it's something like, you know, I've got COVID and here are the personal details, don't put that there. Uh, but like if it, what's the due date for something, that's a place with that kind of question. Anything else? All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. So that is it. Nobody else? So people always write, oh, I didn't have time to ask before you hung up. So I'm giving you a minute to ask before I hang up. All right. See you guys next time. Y'all have a good day. Yes, sir. Bye. Bye.